To help support you when using the Threatened Species Advisor, the FPA have developed a range of documents and associated tools. These can be found on the FPA website under the Biodiversity section. We'll quickly run you through some of these resources and how they can support you when using the Advisor. First off is the Biodiversity Values Database, which we looked at earlier. The BVD is a partner tool to the Advisor and allows you to search the location around your forest planning area to retrieve a list of the threatened flora and fauna that may be present. When you undertake a BVD search using coordinates or the target button to set your centroid, you'll get a report with the following information. A list of all of the threatened fauna with range boundaries that overlap your centroid coordinates, including the range category and a description of the potential and significant habitat for that species. A list of the threatened fauna records within five kilometres of the centroid coordinates. These come directly from the NVA database. The BVD filters these to exclude those records that do not influence forest practices management. So you won't see threatened whale species records appearing. You also get a list of threatened flora records within two kilometres of the centroid coordinates from the NVA. And for each of those threatened flora species, a list with the habitat descriptions and threatened flora survey notes, as well as an indication of the botanical skill level required to survey for that species. These lists contain important information about the species records, like the record's accuracy, coordinates, observation date, conservation status, survey guidelines and survey skill level. You can click on any of the column titles to sort them. You can actually access this information anytime by going to the BVD page on the FPA website. Here you can find the full list for all species including fauna habitat descriptions, flora habitat descriptions and flora survey guidelines, the latter of which have been combined into a single document. The BVD also has a map for eyeballing the location of flora and fauna records and you can turn on additional layers such as threatened fauna range boundaries, TASVEG, tenure type, and the FPA's wedge-tailed eagle habitat models and mature habitat layer. Clicking on a record on the map will highlight it in the table and vice versa. The BVD reports can be downloaded as PDFs or as spreadsheets by clicking the Save as CSV button here at the bottom of the page. The reports can also be printed using the Print Report button here at the top of the page. The information from the BVD reports allows planners to target the threatened species in their planning area when using the advisor. The FPA have developed a whole range of flora and fauna technical notes to assist with habitat identification, survey techniques and the application and implementation of recommendations to manage threatened species habitat. Many of the advisor recommendations will point you to further information in a technical note to help you implement the recommendation. These are practical descriptive documents, usually with helpful photos or diagrams, and they're designed to be used by practitioners in the field. They can help you distinguish the threatened species of tree fern from the more common one. They can help you identify the different types and different densities of swift parrot breeding habitat so you can apply the advisor recommendations. They can help you design a survey for threatened stag beetles to inform your proposed management for an operation. Or they can help you work out how many wildlife habitat clumps you might need in a clear fall or a selective harvesting operation and where to place them. Another layer on the BVD which helps with the use of the advisor and the FPP planning process are the threatened flora habitat suitability models. These models are for 46 of Tasmania's most vulnerable and at risk threatened flora species. These models are essentially heat maps that indicate the likelihood that an area contains suitable habitat for a species. These models are based on known records of the species and a combination of environmental factors that influence plant distribution. They basically act like potential range boundaries for plants. Planners can use these models to decide where to target flora surveys. If you have a known site within two kilometres of your planning area and your advisor recommendation for the species is to undertake a survey, 
then use the appropriate model to determine where you need to survey. Areas of moderate, high and very high suitability that fall within an operation area indicate the areas of highest priority for surveying for the target species. These models can be used in combination with the information from a BVD report we just discussed, such as known records, habitat descriptions and survey notes. In combination, these resources allow forest planners to target priority areas for species when undertaking harvest area surveys. Flora Technical Note number 13 gives a full rundown of how the models were developed and exactly how to use them. The FPA also has a suite of documents to assist you when using the advisor and for FPP planning in general. These include the advisor user manual, which contains instructions on how to use the advisor and a glossary of terms and abbreviations in the tool. This can be accessed by clicking the help button in the advisor or on the advisor landing page of the FPA website. Also on this page are the background documents with information on how the advisor was developed and reference lists on the information used in the advisor. You can also access the forest botany manual used to classify floristic communities, which can be helpful for identifying threatened species habitat. The FBA Threatened Fauna Habitat Planning Guideline is here also, which provides specific information and advice on threatened fauna species at risk from land clearing. There is a guide to the flowering times of Tasmanian orchids, a planned identification kit, an information guide for tree hollows and more. Take time to explore these resources. Finally, the FBA Biodiversity Program Ecologists are always on hand to assist with any questions relating to the advisor, whether it be on how to use the advisor, applying recommendations, or just overall queries relating to FPP planning for biodiversity.